Hey, welcome to another mod review. Today we'll be looking at KG panels. It used to be called EE panels or EE panels 2. What this mod does is allow you to customize your UI by sticking in um, panels so that you can put your buttons over it or anything else over it. Now, a lot of you have been asking me how I did my UI. It takes a little extra step here that I will not be able to show you in this video. Um, I'll save it for another video. You'll need to know Photoshop and uh, no graphic arts. So well, let's take a look at the basics and at least that'll get you started. Okay, so we installed KG panels. Now, in order to open up the configuration window, we go to chat, type slash KG panels, space, config, and it'll bring up our uh, little configuration menu, and that's where we'll be doing most of our stuff. First thing to know, let's talk about the foundation, in this case, the layout. The layout's pretty much the layout of your UI. You can make various layouts. The reason why is maybe you play two classes and both classes you have different UIs for them. One for a mage, one for a rogue. You know, you place your buttons and stuff in different areas when you're playing two different classes. So it allows you to do that. Um, right now my current layout is custom me. That's what I named it. Let's go ahead and uh, really quickly create a new one called mod review. Now since this is a new layout it's going to take away all my panels. And the next thing on the menu is the art library. I'm going to go ahead and skip this. This is where you pretty much define all the custom um, art that you would uh, import into a KG panels. Now, for example, if you can see it, I'm not sure because the video gets really small when I upload to YouTube, uh, is that you'll see that my actual panel here is uh, imported art. And they're all um, defined over in a directory where I put on my computer. Um, so basically, I had to define it in four parts. That's how I had to cut it up. Again, that's hard to explain, so I'll leave that for another uh, either part of this video or maybe an addendum to this video. Because I was looking at this and I was thinking, uh, well, shit, there's a lot uh, to uh, show you guys and how it works. Because it's not the default custom stuff you do, but it's so customizable that uh, it's going might take a while to explain. So let's go ahead and skip over default panel options. So basically where you set up the stuff so that uh, what the default stuff is every time you create a panel. Now I mentioned there was a layout. The layout is the whole. Okay, The layouts consist of a bunch of panels put together and pieced together. Um, and then within these panels there is the art uh, part of it. The background and the borders if you're going to have borders on them. Uh, we'll get to that sooner or later. So here's where you set all this default stuff uh, and the scripts to it. Don't worry about it for right now. We'll deal with it later. Right now what we're going to do is go to active panels. Okay, right now I don't have any active panels so we'll go ahead and start uh, making some panels and I'll show you what it does. Alright, before we go jumping into making panels we gotta kinda visualize how we want, where we want to place things. The, it depends on really the person and how you are and how you set up stuff. You might want to put all your buttons in place first, all your uh, unit meters in place first before you start making the panels. Uh, some people want to just make all that stuff disappear first and then just place all the panels and stuff. So you gotta have, to have to have some kind of game plan here. Let's go back really quick. Look at the custom me panels that I did here. Now, if you noticed on chats over here, I got buttons in this box here, buttons on this box here, button, buttons on this box here. Uh, a lot of it has to do with, um, like this box here, I I put stuff where I could uh, chant my uh, weapons before I go in, while I'm raiding and all my mounting and traveling stuff. Over here in this box, I have all my uh, consumables. And then this box here, I have all the other stuff like professions and stuff. Here in this box, it's all about using combat and uh, the most used buttons I have. Here is, uh, here's another like addendum to those buttons. Uh, mini maps here in the middle. I got my class and buffs over here in this black bar here. Here's my stances. This is where I put my stances. All my uh, party stuff is here. It shows me, my target, the target of the target. And in this box here, this is where it's supposed to be my focus. Let me just focus myself here. There we go. Uh, that way I'll know if I ever focus something, I'll know what's going on with that uh, that uh, mob. So here, in this black panel here, is actually my party. It's where it shows all four.
of the other party members. So when I'm healing, um, I'm mostly looking on the right bottom uh, part of my screen. Uh, so it's more convenient for me. That way when I switch my eyes back over to the center screen, I can see what's going on and then back to uh, the bottom right. Some people like it on the top left. Whatever, whatever fits you. Okay, so you have to think about where you're going to put all this stuff. Okay, now to the fun part. Now that we have a good idea where we're going to put our stuff, uh, we start creating panels. Okay, for example, where my party panel was, well, let's make a party panel. We'll call this party panel. Click OK, and then create it. Okay, and then here's my panel. This is the panel that you get to click and move around and where and place it wherever you want. Now remember my party panel is right somewhere around here. Okay? So let's go ahead and put it size it down to where it should be, which is right about here, roughly. And there you have it. There's the panel where my party will show up. Now, this is where we start customizing that panel. Okay, each panel you make, you name it. It's its own little thing, its own little individuality, okay? So let's go to the pan party panel here, and we'll go over the uh, properties of the panel and how you change it, how you make it look the way you want it to look. All right, now that we have it in place, how do we want it to look, how do we want it to act? Okay, the first uh, option for this panel is in the general settings is intercept mouse click. Leave this unclicked. Um, if you click it, if you click this, that means that the panel itself will recognize any clicks that you click with your mouse. It'll do really weird behaviors on it. It might, it might uh, make it so that you only click the panel and not the stuff that you put on top of it. So just leave it unclick. Right now, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you'll probably mo worry more about it when uh, you start messing with scripts and stuff if you're into that uh, and be and able to do that. Now you can lock your panel once you're finished with it and once you finish editing it with it. Remove the panel. You can also copy uh, various uh, properties from another panel to this panel. So don't worry about that now since this we're just working with one panel. But uh, for example, you might want to use the same texture on each panel uh, that you have all over the place. And instead of just setting it all up again, you just say copy the texture from this panel that I already have place. Okay. Um, and rename the panel. Uh, I don't have to explain what that is. Okay, now let's go into the color and uh, opacity uh, settings. Opacity basically shows, you know, how how see-through you want it to be. The less the opacity is, the more see-through you'll see what's in the background. Uh, the higher it is at 100%, then that means uh, you won't be able to see the background at all. Right now, you could see it is because the color I have set inside of this uh, panel here. Right now, it's solid. So we'll leave it solid. You can change the back the color of it. So let's make it blue. So now it's blue with a little see-through to it. To change that, you got to make the color opacity a uh, hundred percent so that you can't see through it. So let's go and do that. Uh, you could change it to make it uh, a gradient, right? And then in the next uh, options, you can make the gradient go hor horizontal or vertical. All right, and you could change the color that it gradients into. Okay, right now let's go and make leave it solid. Uh, this, these are settings you play with and uh, um, and mess around with to uh, customize to how you want everything to look. Um, now you got the color blending, and this is again for gradients. You could blend it by alpha key, blend or mod, or just dis have it just disabled. Okay, all this stuff is really all graphic art slang. Uh, the best way to learn it is just to uh, mess with it and see how it works for you. Okay, so we have the uh, box here. So the next stuff is positioning settings. Okay, you could other than um, dragging the uh, corner here to make it bigger or smaller, you could also uh, input hard uh, numbers, uh, either by percentage or uh, by pixels. And the rest of the um, settings here in this uh, section here, we'll just go ahead and skip. Um, they don't really have much bearing on uh, what you do unless you really, really want to get into. Uh, every nook and uh, cranny and uh, movement of all your panels and stuff. So uh, just play with it and uh, if you don't know what it is just uh, look it up or check out the fact file that might have something in there about it. But these are more advanced settings that you really don't have to worry about right now. Mm -hmm.